Okay, today I am here to discuss a very, 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 very important and very sensitive subject to us women. Stretch marks. Yes, I said it, stretch marks. Those unsightly little lines, little imperfections in our body that really have a very large control over what type of bikini we buy, over what type of shorts we wear, over what type of underwear or bra or sweater, socks, toenail polish color. <laughs> you get the point. Everything that we want to put on, we have to consider what about these stretch marks, especially when it comes to me who wants to be prancing around on stage in front of people in short shorts and little skirts. All I need is for a blog to pick up the one dimple or the one stretch mark and plaster all my insecurities for the whole world to see. So I'm not going to give away my power. I'm going to own the fact that I had a baby and that I'm a woman and my body has grown and I have some stretch marks, okay? Yes. I have stretch marks. My waist went from a 27 inch waist to a 55 inch waist to bring my beautiful son into this world. I love you, Cameron. <laughs> but that came with some battle scars. And to be honest, I don't know a woman who doesn't have stretch marks, whether you've had a baby or not. And if you happen to be a woman who doesn't have any stretch marks, I hope you have a really, really crooked and ugly baby toe. No, I don't wish anything bad on you. However, I just don't know any women who don't have any stretch marks and people are under the impression that you have to like be big or fat or overweight or obese to have stretch marks. No, you can get stretch marks from going to the gym, from losing or gaining five pounds, from building muscle. It's such a natural thing to happen to a woman's body. I don't know why we just aren't more forgiving with ourselves for it, but regardless. Throughout my pregnancy, yeah, I didn't have any stretch marks at all. I was lotioning and keeping my skin super moist and my mom was like, girl, you're not gonna get any stretch marks. If I have no stretch marks, you ain't gonna have no stretch marks. But I'm like, mom, you also had your baby at 19 in Guyana where the sun is always shining and your skin is always moist. So uh, yeah, a little bit of a different story for me. So at eight months, I started to see stretch marks and then they kept coming and I kept lotioning. And then when I had Cameron, I found more stretch marks in places that I didn't even see while I was pregnant. Some on my thighs, some on my breasts from breastfeeding, and it is what it is. So I went down the rabbit hole of trying to figure out and researching all the things that could help me with my stretch marks. And you know, I know there's this whole conversation of, I want my pre-baby body back, I want my pre-baby body back. Well, you know what, guess what? There's no way to have a pre-baby body once you have a baby. So let's just accept it and move on you are probably going to have some stretch marks and it's okay. There's a woman out there who's never had children who has stretch marks. It's okay. Moving on. So today I am here to share with you some of my most favorite products and parts of my routine that have really, really been helping me with my stretch marks and helping me with the recovery of my body. So here we go. Uh, first thing I like to do is in the shower. It starts in the shower. A loofah or some exfoliating gloves. You wanna exfoliate your skin. You wanna exfoliate your skin anyways. It's really, really good to help promote circulation, to help shed and remove the dead skin that's on your body so your body can produce beautiful new skin cells so we can start to combat those unsightly stretch marks. I found that this is a little bit more coarse, so if you really wanna get a good scrub, it's this, and then this I just use with any sort of body wash. Um, this really helped with my Linnea Negra, which is the dark line that you get when you're pregnant. Um, so much so that I could actually eventually just scratch my line off and it's pretty much almost gone, almost like a temporary tattoo. So I always recommend exfoliating in the shower. When I come out the shower, um, with my skin still slightly damp, the first thing I do is massage my belly and my legs and my breasts with this. It's called Mother's Special Blend. I hope you can see it. Um, this is amazing. It's completely natural. It's no chemicals, no preservatives, no artificial colors, no perfumes. The only ingredients are almond oil, coconut oil, cocoa butter, and vitamin E. I, I can't tell you how much I love this product and it's so cheap. I think it's like 11 bucks on Amazon. Newsflash, I got everything I'm about to show you on Amazon. If you haven't invested the $79 into Prime, do it so that this stuff can come to your house in two days, okay? Um, so yes, so this, I love this. This is really, really good because when I have to breastfeed Cameron, I don't want any sort of product that I have on me um, that's too harsh for him. So it's really good for breastfeeding and I also rub Cameron with it after his bath and it just has a light fragrance, nothing crazy, um, but it's 
amazing. When you are looking for these types of things, Amazon will make suggestions for you. And the next two things that came up, which I ordered as well to try, which I really love, are by a company called Body Mary. And it's an oil and a cream, like a cocoa butter cream. And it's for stretch marks and scars. And everything in this little jar and this is all natural like the ingredients are coconut oil grapeseed oil rose hip seed oil jojoba oil tamanu oil and sea buckthorn oil this is cocoa butter and shea butter in here vitamin e and b3 and b5 all really good things for your skin this smells amazing i use it on my lips at night i use it all over it's really good and when you mix these two together it's a good good combination um, and you can put that all over your body or wherever your stretch marks are i've noticed a big difference in my skin and my stretch marks since i started using this so um i really like these products i encourage you to try them as well boom good old palmers you can get this anywhere guys you can get this at some bodegas you can get this at a 7-eleven i'm pretty sure uh, you can get this anywhere i use this stretch marks massage lotion during my pregnancy and then i use this just regularly as a lotion palmer's cocoa butter i mean since the beginning of time you've heard the rumors they're all true try cocoa butter it works wonders next thing that i've no really good things about is this bio oil this is like this wonder oil that came out in the last few years and it's for scars stretch marks uneven skin tone aging skin and dehydrated skin i know people who've had surgery and use this on their scars really 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 good and they say it gives really good results this is a little bit more expensive i mean the other products are all pretty much 10 to 15 dollars this can range in a bottle this size to like 30 to 40 dollars so um but i hear really great things about this i've been using it i love it and then last but not least is good old coconut oil. I got this jar for $6.99. It's by Jason. It's completely organic. It's for hair, skin, and nails, this one, but you can use coconut oil that you get from the grocery store that you cook with and kill two birds with one stone or 75 birds with one stone because coconut oil can be used on everything to help promote healthy nails, growth, um, hair growth. It could be a hair mask, good for your skin. Um, it's just beautiful. I love coconut oil. In fact, any oil, you can use avocado oil, you can use olive oil on your skin. Any kind of oil is going to be really good for your skin because what we're trying to do is put the moisture back in because that's why your skin stretches in the first place because either it's too dry or it's being expanded to 55 inches. And when it comes to stretch marks, guys, and intimacy, I know a lot of women out there are so embarrassed and so ashamed of their stretch marks. And I feel like anybody that you're going to be with that's going to judge you or not accept you for the fact that you're a woman and your body has been through some shit to either bring life into the world or to grow into the voluptuous woman that you are. Um, if they don't understand that, they don't deserve your body anyways. Because, I mean, I don't know anybody who's been with anyone who doesn't have stretch marks. And if you're with someone who's never been with anyone who's seen stretch marks, tell them to go back to Perfect People's Island where they can be with all those perfect people who don't exist. And when they're ready to come back to the real world, we'll be here, okay? We live in a society right now where everything can be filtered and blurred out, and it's just not true, okay? It is okay to have stretch marks. If you had a baby, you probably are going to have stretch marks, and that's okay because your body is now the site of a miracle. So own it, accept it, love it. I know it's hard. I don't love mine yet. I'm working at it every day. I'm still only three months postpartum. I am just working patiently with myself every day to celebrate the little progress that I make when it comes to my fitness journey and to also just learning to accept that my body may never be what it used to be and that's okay and I just have to love this new body because it is womanly and it is the body that brought my beautiful son into this world so that's it guys I hope these products help you try different things some might work for you some might not but this is just what's been working for me and I hope it can help someone out there because I know it's a struggle so until the next time live in your truth surrender to your journey and love yourself at every stage I will see you guys in the next video I love you for watching see ya peace